Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm doing a ranking of all the Disney Plus shows. Along, like, like I would say a couple weeks ago, maybe three weeks at most, I did a video about ranking all of the MCU movies. So since I did that video, I was like, why not I just do the same, but for the shows? Since I didn't really include the shows for the movies um, ranking. So yeah. Um, so in this one, I'm just gonna be ranking the shows, and yeah. So to to clarify, I'm not including any of the other shows that were mainly on Netflix that are now on Disney Plus. Kind of like the examples of Daredevil, Punisher, uh, Luke Cage. You know, all those shebang there. So just basically meant like MCU directed to be in the MCU shows. You know what I mean? So basically six shows to rank as of right now because she hulk is not out yet and i will do another ranking in the future but as of right now this is kind of it so yeah let's get on with it starting off with number six to be honest falcon and the winter soldier was not a great show it was pretty decent it was more of entertaining on like what happened after endgame kind of show so it's not really like you know anything like you kind of have to watch Endgame to real like actually understand what the show is like happening and stuff. You also kind of have to like have an understanding of the villains because they're somewhat too because U.S. Agent isn't technically a hero but he's also not a villain and obviously the cult I guess I don't know if I could say that word <laughs> I don't know oh okay but anyways um yeah pretty much. That's that the show isn't great, but overall I think it's a pretty decent show. I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten out of things I would change about it, but yeah. Number five. Going to WandaVision. Honestly, the show was not good. If I if this was this ranking happened before Multiverse of Madness, then the show would have probably been least mount the only reason why it's higher than uh falcon and winter soldier is because there's just so much more reasoning now and you know instead of trying to like figure out what's actually happening um overall the show there's quite a bit of things i really didn't enjoy about it like showing off some of the members of young avengers being wicked and i think his name is speed wicked and speed being the kids of wanda and vision um <laughs> And then also bringing back the character Vision, but I don't really want Wanda to date Vision because the white Vision in the comics just, you know, he had, he remembers everything, sure, but he doesn't, like, um, he's, he doesn't feel feelings. So meaning that if they did date, that means he would, he would not feel anything for Wanda. So, yeah. Anyways, number four, Loki. To be honest, I really like this show. There's just quite a bit. I just think this show could have been better on. I really like King, but they just kind of ruined the character. I don't. It's so confusing for the show. I find this more confusing than WandaVision. I think King is dead in the MCU, which is stupid because King is easily the like, is easily a better villain than Thanos. So I mean. They just kind of ruined that character, unless obviously season two happens. I don't. It's so confusing. But if they did kill King, this is just kind of made me more mad. Plus, Loki was just kind of like a step back for the TVA, and yeah, all those kind of variants. And this was like the first ever movie to go into multiversal for, or not movie, but show to go into the multiversal kind of stuff. Um, I. <sighs> To be honest, this whole show was just really confusing. <laughs> and honestly, it's sort of a show that was good at the time. You know, like, it was a show that I would watch at the time and be like, this is pretty freaking good. But now after rewatching it, it's like, oh, I already know what happens. So, you know, it's not really more of like a show you can rewatch and have action, plot, and adventure. It's more of a show of mysteriousness, if that's even a word. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, okay, anyways, um, number three, Hawkeye. The reason why I think the show is pretty freaking good 
is because the show you don't really have to watch any other movies maybe okay you maybe might need to watch endgame to like actually like have a little bit of an idea like just a t- it's not really that important but you could to just have a little bit more of an understanding but i mean yeah you don't really need to watch any other movies or shows this show was just more of a fun excitement movie and it's also for a character that a lot of people like this just just show was just super good i also really like the character um Kate Bush up. Yeah. Um, and then the villain Kingpin. I mean, he's not really a villain. He was literally in it for like an episode and like part of episode five. So I guess <laughs> I can't wait to see what they do for him in the future. And he's not dead. Just so you know, if you did watch the show, I, um, so yeah. Um, anyways, let's continue. Number two goes to what if, oh my gosh, this show is super freaking good. I really did like What If. Um, I think there was a lot of potential kind of wasted, in my opinion. I mean, where did the frick was the Gomorrah episode? You know what I mean? <laughs> where, where did that episode go? Um, okay, anyways. Um, there's just a lot of, like, potential I feel like they wasted. Ultron Vision is, like, cool and all, but he's not, like, you know, like... In the last episode, he wasn't, like, the best villain ever. <laughs> he was actually kind of stupid because he easily could have demolished each and one of them, including Supreme Strange. But no, he just, just no. I also kind of like the connections, like how Black, um, I guess, Black Panther, Star-Lord, I don't know, Black Star-Lord, T'Challa, um, kind of connects to the um, evil version of um, Killmonger. Um Another thing is, I hate how they killed Iron Man, like, three times in the show. I'm not even joking. They literally, <laughs> they, oh my gosh. One of my favorite episodes, not looking, like, after rewatching, it has to be the zombie episode. It's just, I really like that scenario. Like, superheroes that normally just, you know, fight and protect and, you know, just usually just have a good time, you know, watching and, heck, reading and sometimes even playing. But now... Now, a zombie scenario, a horror scenario, just putting into it, having a whole plot and adventure, and seeing how, like, all these characters kind of, like, still are the same, but in the zombie forms, kind of like the character, one of my favorite examples of that would be, like, um, Captain America zombie, because pretty much that character, um, so, I, in my opinion, that character was just really like it it had to like the same but then had some zombie effects like when um i went yeah winter soldier like through like when captain uh zombie america i don't know zombie america threw his shield at winter soldier and then he caught it and then when they were fighting he like like try to bite him so it's not like their characters completely changed but they also add the effects of the um zombie effects as well what I'm really hyped for is what if they do a zo- like a season two of what if they for like the zombie Thanos we saw at the end having most of the infinity stones. I really want to see like a like have that happen because obviously characters like zombie Captain America being a weaker version of Captain America. So wouldn't that mean that he would win? I don't know. It's just really debatable. Um, but yeah, I want I would really like to see more episodes of that. There's also like a lot of funny things that happen in the series. So overall, I the series is not that bad. It's all overall a pretty good series. And my favorite show as of right now is Moon Knight. Holy crap. That beatbox was fun. Why did I say that? Oh my god. Okay, sorry. Let's just try that over again. Let's just try it over again real quick. Um, hold on, let's just, just go back here. Alright. Let's try it again. And number one goes to Moon Knight. Holy smoke donkeys. That was pretty freaking good. Okay, yeah. This episode. Oh, my God. Okay, you know what? Just, I don't care anymore. Just, this this show was pretty good. I honestly really did enjoy it. And the starting three episodes, I would say, were really freaking good. They showed a lot of, um, 
um, like, different, like, potential, and it's also kind of, like, confusing, but it's, like, a good confusing, so it's not, like, you know, like, kind of like Loki, so, you know what I mean? It's just this kind of good series. I really didn't like Moon Knight. Something I really wish they changed about it was showing more Jake, and, I mean, the final battle could, I feel like there should have been some more changes about it, but overall, I really did like the show, and honestly, I think the show, like, I, I, I hate how people are always saying, like, Moon Knight's final episode sucked because the final battle was not even good and the character sucked. Like, bro, this show isn't supposed to be something that's supposed to, like, like I understand, but the, the these are, like, the start off of the characters. You're not, like, these characters are supposed to be debatable characters, you know, like, people would put on. So, like, characters, like, I mean, some people also debate about it. Like, who would win, Spider-Man and Moon Knight? A lot of people would say Spider-Man because we don't know the full potential of Moon Knight. That's because we've seen him. So, even though that there's different potentials of each character, we still haven't seen a lot of Moon Knight. And apparently there might be a season two, so I'm very hyped for that. Well, anyways, that's all of the MCU shows ranked. Um, yeah, uh, tell me what you guys think, and I'm going to go now because, yeah, bye-bye.